Welcome to the 15th episode of Let's Conquer Books. Charlie Jones said, You're the same today as you'll be in five years, except for the people you meet and the books you read. In this episode, I talk about how having a lot of unread books in your bookshelf and a big want to read book list online is a good thing because it's a humbling reminder of how much you do not know. Also, that reading books is a lifelong journey of gaining knowledge and learning. And lastly, it will keep you intellectually hungry. So let's get into it. I'm your host, Alexander the Great Reader, and this episode was inspired by a Twitter post I saw by Inc.com's article by Jessica Stillman titled, Why You Should Surround Yourself With More Books Than You'll Ever Have to Time to Read. I'll put a link to this article in the description for this episode. And I've always felt Like, man, I have so much unread books. I'm never going to get to read these. I have all these books on my want to read list on goodreads.com, which is up to 721 books, hundreds of physical books in my bookshelf here at home that I've never read. But this article showed me a different perspective, a positive perspective, which is always good. And I, I want to share it with you. The first takeaway I got was that, you know, having a lot of unread books or a big unread want list online, it's a humbling reminder of how much you do not know. So the more you admit you don't know things, the faster you learn. So that drives reading more because you're humbling yourself to say, you know what? I don't know that much about my gut flora, my gut, gut biome. Let me read a book. And that leads to reading more books and more books. It drives my learning. It really does. I don't read a lot of novels. So I have to humble myself and start with the easier ones. The ones I should have read in high school. And, you know, work up to the more thought-provoking, more deeper, intellectually grappling with your mind novels. Unread books are a sign of your ignorance. Now, there's so much knowledge that you and I have not tapped into. And books is a great sign of that. There's books that are old that you still can read and you gain a lot of knowledge from. And and new books coming out constantly. So that shows to me that I really don't know much. Compared to the books that that I can read, to the ones I have, I really don't know much. I feel like I know a lot especially after reading 100 books in one year. But when I look at the big picture, I really don't know a lot. And then knowing that you're ignorant, you know, that's what separates you and me from others. So, okay, I'm ignorant. So that's an advantage because most people are comfortable. They think they know everything or they don't see the purpose of knowing anything. A lot of people are lazy. They create excuses. I don't have time. I don't need to read that. I'm, I'll never use that. And there's a lot of people who are defeated. They just quit. They go, this book is 300 pages. I can't concentrate. I never read books in my life. So s- being ignorant and knowing it and, and saying, yes, I don't know much. That's an advantage because you're gonna. that's going to push you to read more. The second takeaway is, A lot of unread books in your bookshelf and a lot of unread books in your online book reading list that you want to read, it shows you that this is a lifelong journey of gaining knowledge and learning. There will be topics that will interest you, and reading fulfills that interest. Like, if you're interested in neuroscience, there are lots of good books on that topic. So you grab one. And then you go, wow, this is really good. And the book will recommend other books inside of it if you if you want to further go into this topic. Amazon will recommend books that other people who are into this book are reading. Goodreads will do the same. You know, reach out to the author. You can go deeper and deeper and deeper. 
and sometimes it'll lead to other topics that are similar or in the same field, and that leads to another cycle of, again, going deeper and deeper and deeper. So that's what reading does. It fulfills that those interests that you're going to have changing in life for your own health. Maybe you're getting more spiritual. Maybe you want to know more about finances, or maybe you want to know more about helping your kid read more. There's so much topics, and you can keep going deep, 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 and it'll lead to other similar topics or completely different topics. The third takeaway I got from this article is that a lot of unread books on your bookshelf and a lot of unread books on your want list online, that keeps you intellectually hungry. For me, I listen to a lot of podcasts. One of my favorite is Mixed Mental Arts. And those guys read a lot of books. You're always hearing them referencing books. I always grab my phone because I have the Goodread app and I always put the books they're talking about. Ty Lopez is another guy I listen to. He's always recommending books. Joe Rogan always has authors and book readers. They're always recommending books. Jo- Jocko Willinke is always recommending books. On my Instagram, I follow a lot of book readers. So they're always posting pictures of books and reviews of books. So just hearing them talk about books that they really like makes me want to read them. So that, that keeps that intellectual hunger in me keep going. Like I said, on Instagram, I always see these books, but I also see books at bookstores. I see books other people are holding. I see books being recommended on certain topics and articles. So that keeps me intellectually hungry. Maybe I see a topic and I'm like, wow, look at these books. And I go and research and I see so much books on this subject and they're being reviewed well and people are praising them. And I'm like, wow. I want to start reading on this subject. It looks like it's a valuable subject to gain knowledge in. It keeps you hungry. So I, w- I want you to change your mind also. Because I had the mind when I looked at my unread books and my big want to read list online keeps growing. It always defeated me like, man, I don't read enough. I'm never going to get to read like 20% of these books. Now you have a new perspective, the perspective of it's humbling that, you know, you're not the smartest guy in the world. This is a lifelong journey to gain knowledge and learning. And they're going to keep me intellectually hungry because it's a proof that, you know, there's so much learning that I need to do. So thank you for listening to this podcast. I'm over 400 plays and downloads. The reading challenge that I am right now, I'm at 43 books out of 100. Let me know where you're at too. Let's connect on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All the links are in the description for this episode. And we'll see you on the next one. Please subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Anchor, or any other podcasting platform so you don't miss the next episode where I talk about how audiobooks can make it easier and quicker to read lots of books.